It is the third installment of On the Road again this week. It is Alan Crabb for our third road trip. We chose you, of course, because you're from LA. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but it's kind of a fun little feature where we look at your road trip tendencies. So we're starting with packing. Do you do it the night before or the morning of? Oh, I'm bad at that. I usually do it the morning of. Uh, try to do a little better this year. Um, I think for the first road trip, I think I did good with doing it the night before, but I'm usually last minute procrastinator tell myself, all right, when I get home from practice, I'm gonna pack when I get home and lay down and get too lazy, end up having to rush and wait till the next day. So are you neat and tidy or are you kind of messy when you are packing? Uh, nah, well, most of my clothes, most of my clothes are already folded. So yeah. only thing I gotta do is just grab and put it in the bag. So it's pretty simple. Myers has told me he's a minimalist. Are you an overpacker? Yes, all the time, all the time. You know, you, it's better to have more than not, you know, have enough. So um, I definitely do find myself overpacking shorts, shirts, all kind of stuff. But like I said, it's always good to have more. What is the one thing you have to have on a road trip? You have to remember or it's, it's going to be a bad one. Oh, my phone for sure. Yeah. Phone or my laptop, especially on the long road trips. Uh, you know, like the FaceTime or get on, you know, Netflix on the computer if you know the TV doesn't have anything on so it's definitely my phone or my laptop. Is there something you often forget? Yeah my charger oh, or yeah. sometimes my retainers, my retainer case. <laughs> it's annoying because like I said that last minute packing you just you're trying to remember everything and then you get out the house and I'm on the freeway like wow forgot that. <laughs> so those are the biggest things. How many guys right now are wearing retainers? I don't know. A few people on the team got the Invisalign now. I know. Yeah. Amy and one of them, I don't know why he's looking at me like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's a few people within the this line now. What do you do on the plane to pass the time? Sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Damien. I make sure that uh I make sure I stay up late the night before, especially like the four or five hour, you know, flights. I can't stand those. So I always like to make sure I go to sleep really late. And so by the time I get on the airplane, get comfortable and pass out. Who do you sit by? I sit by, I sit next to Pat. He's usually, I always leave him up by himself. He's usually always watching movies on his iPad or doing something else. So, you know, we talk for like a good 10, 15 minutes and I tell him, all right, I'm about to pass out. <laughs> so, yeah. So. What's the first thing you do when you get into your hotel room? It depends. It depends where we're at, like home. You know, I'm always, I usually just drop my bag off right away and get ready to go out. Um, but it depends where we're at. You know, if we're in the city, just, you know, or if we're there for like a day, I just get there, probably order room service, look at the, you know, TV guys, see what movies is on. And that's pretty much it, pass out right away. I think I know the answer to this, but why is this stop LA so important to you? Oh, because it's, it's home. <laughs> Back home, you get to, you know, play in front of family and friends. And, um, you know, it's different from them watching you on TV, but, you know, just to be able for them to come and see me in person, you know, you don't get to see them as often anymore. So. It's always fun to come back home, man, and you know, just have that home vibe, go home, get a home cooked meal sometimes. So, uh, you know, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Thanks a lot, I see. No problem.